good, YouTube, man? Thank y'all for tuning in to I Am Fresh. And we back at it again with another video, man. I know y'all read the title, and I already know y'all gathering up y'all thoughts and opinions already. <laughs> if you clicked on the video, that means you were a little bit curious as to what, what it got to offer. You know what I'm saying? So I'm here to kind of satisfy those curiosities. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you might decide to go with it. Or you might decide that it's trash. Let's jump into the unboxing of this site and y'all be the judges yourselves, man. Alright y'all, so without further ado, let's jump into this unboxing. Alright guys, so right off the top, what I'm noticing about this case versus some of my other reputable um, red dot sites that I have is that my other stuff came in a box. This one actually comes in a hard shell um, plastic case. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the Fiat RDS 22 Micro Red Dot. Alright, the RDS is for Red Dot Site. Alright, boom. All right, so cool. We got some nice interior padding in it. Um, of course, it comes with your lens cover. All right, looks like it comes with a spare battery and an Allen key. And then it comes with your lens towel so you can clean off the fingerprints, man, when you got greasy, sweaty hands like your boy. You dig? And on to what we really came here for, man. We came here for the Fiaci Red Dot. All right, so first impressions in hand, man. This thing has, you know, a, a very durable feel to it. It doesn't feel like if you drop it on the floor, it's gonna break. Um, it's predominantly metal. Um, I don't really feel any plastic anywhere on here. Everything is pretty much um, metal. Yeah, I think even those lens covers right there, they feel like they, that's even like a hard plastic or a metal. But yeah, predominantly, man, this thing is metal. Even the, the windage covers right here for elevation and windage, these are metal as well too, um, very textured, um, as well as this battery cover plate here too um, is metal as well too. So this thing feels super durable in hand. And, and let me move this out the way just so we can focus on this. Um, this thing feels super durable in hand. Off the bat, man, this thing reminds me of the Bushnell, I think it's the, um, the Bushnell TRS-25. And if y'all are not familiar with that, let me pull it up real quick. Here it is. Here's the Bushnell TRS-25, and Bushnell is, of course, a more reputable company than Fiaci, and this thing is almost identical, man. I mean, you've got that coated front lens there, just like on the Bushnell. As you can see, the red dot brightness adjuster is exactly the same, um, where the batteries installed is the same, as well as the elevation and the wind displacement is the same. I mean, if you look, I mean, look, look at the side-by-side -side comparison, man. It's exactly the same. So here you go. You basically got a Bushnell um, for half the cost. All right. So while we're on that cost, um, this particular um, Fiat model cost me exactly $43.99, $44 plus tax. Let's just call it $45, right? $45 got me this optic to the door. I want to say it's comparator, which is that Bushnell right there. That's going for anywhere between $85. Um, on sale to retailing, you know, about 100 to 110, um, if not more, depending on where you go. All right, so we're talking about a Bushnell for a fraction of the cost. Bushnell for half the price. So again, if you got a budget bill, man, and you're trying to save a couple dollars or you just simply don't have the money to just be spending and you want to have a, a decent quality, you know, site to get you by, Fiaci, man. I mean, check it out. They're not what they used to be. I did that brass catcher review and I was blown away. To me, that's the brass cat. That's the best brass catcher out. To me, that's my opinion. I think that's the best one. Um, again, there's other brands that make them as well too. I don't like the Velcro strap ones, and Fiaci made the best one. I mean, it is what it is, man. I'm not listening. These companies don't pay me. I'm not sponsored or branded by these companies, so these are unbiased. Um, opinions and reviews, man. I'm just reviewing it based on what it is for face value. All right, so cool. So on the windage and elevation, one thing I also like as well too is it has these washers here um, and they're advertising it as waterproof. You can see here, it's got a little washer around it as well too. So I like that as well. That'll seal it off and keep um, any moisture um, from, you know, breaching that seal right there and getting in, 
inside the optic itself. Um, another thing that I notice is on the caps, um, you have um, an adjuster that fits down in that groove that allows you to turn and get the clicks um, going as well too. So let's 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 try to hear those clicks as well to see if they're audible. Oh, that's very audible. Listen, y'all. Hear that? So let me go back to. So that's very audible. I like that as well too. And you feel those clicks so you don't get any, you know, play and it's kind of off and you can't tell how many clicks that you did because when sighting this thing in, um, those clicks are going to be very important. So I like that as well too. Matter of fact, you can probably use this thing to open up the battery um, case as well too. Let me see. Yep. You can pretty much do this in the field, man, without any tools. I like that. There's your battery there. It takes a CR2032 um, battery code, but don't forget they also provide you, you know, with that extra battery as well too, which I really like. And then I, one thing I did notice, cause this thing was on the back, um, it also comes with a key as well too, to adjust those clicks for windage and elevation right there too. So if you didn't want to use your cap cover, you can actually use the key itself because they provide you with one. So, I mean, they cover in the base there, you know what I'm saying? So let me tighten this thing all the way down. This um, battery cap cover also has a washer on it as well too, which I like. All right, boom, that's nice and snug. Let's go ahead and reinstall this. All right, so some of the specs are, um, it's got 11 different settings um, for the brightness and the size of the red dot itself. Um, it starts off on zero, zero being off. Um, I don't think it has, it didn't advertise and nor did I notice that it has this uh, shake and wake technology. Um, so I think if you don't turn this thing off, I think you'll just kill your battery, but you put it to zero, zero is off, all right? Let's just go straight to 11. So I can see it, but it's hard for me to pick it up on camera for y'all, man. So hold on, let me try to get my hands steady. Hope y'all can see that, man. There's the red dot there. Oh yeah, all top. So let me let me say this, guys. So what you guys are seeing is actually far more smaller and more dull than what I'm actually seeing physically. What I'm seeing physically is about double the size and about three times the brightness. I'm on the 11th setting here, right there, and it's showing up as kind of dim and small on on camera. So the physical eye is going to be a lot more bigger and brighter than that. All right, y'all. So let me turn that back to zero, and as you can see, it's gone. Now this is a two MOA red dot. Um, I think this thing is rated um, up to a hundred yards. Um, don't quote me on that. Um, I'm gonna have to double back and verify that. But you guys can, if you guys are interested, man, definitely look into that. I think it's rated for like a um, hundred yards. This has a low profile, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually install this on um, my AK. All right, guys, so before the start of this video, as you can see, I got the bolt locked back. No magazine inside of the firearm, so the weapon is safe and also pointed in a safe direction, guys, okay? Just wanted to get that safety thing out the way first before we proceeded with the installation of this red dot. All right, Fresh Fan, so I have it installed, man, and this is how it's gonna look. So again, it won't be able to cope with this, of course, because those factory iron sights that come on, you know, most AKs are far too low, but I wanted something that actually was low enough that it, it, it could be in relation to the iron sights. I wanted a very low profile sight and this covers that base. And another thing I want to make mention of is this thing is not heavily branded either. There's actually no branding. Nowhere on here does it say Fiat. Yeah, man. So the next thing just be to get this thing out to the range, man, to make sure it holds zero, man. So stay tuned for that next video. All right, y'all.
fresh family so is this the whole zero test right here so i had this thing pent out at about 35 yards the wind was blowing super heavy super heavy um so i kind of was moving a little bit at this particular gun range you cannot stand up man so i have to shoot from a seated position um so this is from seated mind you the chairs are a little too low for me so i'm a little uncomfortable so i'm, I'm kind of moving the wind is blowing and that's not too bad man that's with this fiachi optic and as you can see that's a pretty tight group at 35 yards man i would say it's a win-win for fiachi man that thing definitely held zero i had no problems out of it um the red dot was illuminated really really well so man i'm thoroughly impressed man salute the fiachi y'all don't forget to like comment and subscribe man like comment and subscribe what y'all waiting on come on man join the fresh fan all right i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one Peace.